I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. Today's pep talk, I want to talk about food. And this is a huge concern these days because there's so much childhood obesity leading to adult onset, a childhood onset of adult diseases in our children. And it's become a real issue. And part of the problem is that our kids aren't eating healthy foods and they're sitting in front of the TV a lot more than they used to. So good exercise and providing healthy snacks is really important. And one of the problems that happens is that parents often overfeed our kids. Like when they're young, we want them to eat everything on their plate and we often give them huge portions. And so they get used to eating too much where if you just provide kids with healthy food and healthy portions, they'll usually eat until they're full, which is not nearly as much food as we would think. If you're concerned because your child doesn't eat well, the first thing you want to do is ask the child's doctor if your child's a healthy weight. If the doctor isn't concerned about your child's health, then there is no need to force feed your child. And what this causes is the ability for the child to power struggle with you over food in order to not have to eat whatever that you're serving. So I always like to give children healthy choices between meal times, perhaps uh, peeled carrots or apples cut up, have them in the fridge ready to go. Kids, if they have a choice between junk food and healthy foods, will often choose the healthy foods if they're prepared in a way that makes them fun, like if they're cut and they're peeled and that sort of thing. Another thing I found really helpful was to grow my own food. If I grew peas in the garden, the kids would always eat it. Whereas if I bought peas in the store, forget it. They're never going to eat that. Another way that you can enlist children's cooperation in eating better is to involve them in the meal preparation and the and the cooking. And what this might look like is at one point in time, my kids and I, we all had each had a night where we got to cook dinner. And so each child decided on what the menu was and what they needed. We did a grocery store run and everybody had to get, you know, we got a nice list going and we all got what we needed. So each night, each child got to prepare with my help the meal for that night. And that also brought a lot of cooperation to meal times when the kids are empowered with having a choice and being able to participate in what they're eating. They tend to eat stuff they wouldn't have eaten if you would have just made it and put it on the on the table in front of them. I also had at one point in time a one bite rule. So a lot of times the kids will whine and complain about something that you're serving them and you know they've eaten this before and they liked it before, but there's no sense arguing with them when you when they're fi- fighting with you and saying, I'm not going to eat that. So I always had a one bite rule and that meant you have to have one bite. You have to taste one bite. And if you truly don't like it or don't want it tonight, then that's fine. And I had one or two backup foods For me, it was uh, cheese and crackers or peanut butter and jelly, and they could prepare that themselves as long as they did it themselves and then cleaned up after themselves. And it was probably like 50-50. Sometimes they would take a bite and say, yeah, I don't want this, and they would make the alternative. And other times they would take a bite and say, oh, I really do like this, and then they would go ahead and eat it. But it took a lot of the fighting and the power struggles out of the meal times. And I really feel like this is important because of, again, the the childhood obesity problem and not wanting to have children use food to um, cover over their emotions. Anyway, I hope this helps. Have a great day and happy parenting. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Debbie Godfrey, owner and founder of PositiveParenting.com. I hope you'll go and check out my website and follow me on Instagram and let me know about what you thought about today's episode. Did you learn something new? Were you able to do something different with your children? Did you have a success story? Those are my favorite to share. Let me know. Contact me. I'd love to hear from you. And also, what future topics would you be interested in hearing about on the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast? Thank you so much for being here and for all of your support. Take care and happy parenting. Hey!